Happy Halloween, everyone! Do I sound like Santa Claus? Yes. Yes. Happy Thursday! Welcome back to Hot Mess with Alex Earl. We're getting in the Halloween spirit today. Even though Halloween was two days ago, it's okay. We have a lot to recap about Halloween. I think Halloween's my favorite holiday. And today we have our most requested guest on. <laughs> She's been on the show before. She was a big whoop. She was Sebastian the Ibis. She is Hannah Knight. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> I've had some pretty crazy Halloweens over the years, so I just thought who better to call in than the only person that gets crazier than me. <laughs> I'm honored that you thought of me for that accolade. That's pretty an impressive feat if you ask me. And usually for Halloween, we go to Key West and oh boy, do we have stories to tell you. It gets a little scary there. For Halloween, we spent probably, I think, the past four Halloweens together. Mm -hmm. We usually go to Key West for Halloween. This is like a U Miami tradition. And the scary thing about that is that we're really going to something called Fantasy Fest, but it is a swingers festival. <laughs> it is not meant for college students. <laughs> no. But the whole entire school drives down to Key West. It's like a three hour drive. And you literally see on Snap Maps like every single person in their car going down the bridge what is it that is called the, it is the great migration of you miami <laughs> students it's a swarm literally you see every bitmoji in their little cars smiling just blackouts impending yes and we hunker on down to key west and this town during halloween weekend is filled with like naked old people i don't how do you describe it like i have never seen more saggy skin in my life <laughs> You walk down, the, I remember our first time walking down the street was sophomore year, we had no idea what to expect. And we show up, there's like all these cute little cafes, everything's like green and pink and beach. And then you turn the corner and there's- An old man's ass. <laughs> yeah, front and center. Front and center and then to the right and the left and down the street. And they're all with their wives who are equally as naked and they're all chatting each other up. It's and kind of a like scene maybe 80 years old plus like yeah. it is the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life you yeah. feel like you're in like your own halloween town it's like hocus pocus but like make it key west make it fantasy <laughs> make fest. it naked make it like, 2.0 it's insanely crazy like i don't even know how to describe the aura there i think i made a youtube vlog last year of our key west trip and like you see like i i'll put the footage right now where is this from yeah, this is like, like a bird oh I'm Cinderella. Cinderella! <laughs> right here is the lifeguards. In crazy town. <laughs> Two sausages. I like crazy I naked people. people. I love Key West. Every street is like shut down and people are just like walking and partying. There's like a main strip of bars. What's that road called? Duval. Duval Street. You forgot Duval Street. <laughs> oh my God, it's We're already growing so up good. and growing old. And I think the air in Key West is different. I don't think they're pumping enough oxygen down there. Because... They're pumping something else. They're pumping aerated <laughs> insanity. <laughs> it's not okay. Like. The state of mind that we're all in during Key West, like, I don't know what happens, but we just become new people and we have very scary stories. It's like never a cute time there, but like the best time at the same time. After everyone drives down to Key West, we finally get there. You get to your hotel. It is only a Friday and Saturday that you're there, but it's like a constant like 48 hours of going out. It's insanity. It's, it is a manic episode for everyone there. <laughs> um, so you pull up that Friday. Everyone is just beyond excited. They're shaking. And that is probably the only night that anyone actually looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That like, is, that's the night you like actually you do your best costume yeah. because you're the most alive for it. But you get ready at like 4 p.m. when you get there mm -hmm. and you go out until like 4 a.m. Yeah. There's no, there's no stopping. And then after 4 a.m. you're up at what, 8 a.m. the next day yeah. to do it all again? Because you go out drinking during Saturday day, people get changed and then do 
Saturday night and like Saturday day if people wear actual bikini outfits Saturday day like you wear a bikini with something to like make mm-hmm. it Halloweeny like I would wear a black bikini in this and be a witch <laughs> and then the other times where you have like your more serious but still naked costumes I've slept fully through costumes before like every year that I go my costumes don't go as planned like never I never make it to like doing all three of them to the full extent because you're just so disheveled and like i'm just i literally one year just like took a cowboy hat off someone on the road and like put it on i was like that's my costume (laughs) there we go i'm done no that's the worst feeling though waking up on sunday and looking at the a hundred dollars you spent on your costume and you didn't wear any of it no yeah you you don't you don't wear any of it um and then the drive back from key west oh god is (laughs) I had, a, I had a terrible drive back my first year. Yeah. So I did not want to leave. I was in denial about the fact that we had to well, go back to Miami. This, okay, so this is our first year before we had left. On the Sunday morning, we got a brunch. And we all went to brunch. <laughs> Hannah's like, I maybe took a little drinks at we, brunch. We're all like, okay, the party's over. We're so hungover. Like, <laughs> like no, guys, keep it going. It's Hannah's so like, wait, this place is the best. She's <laughs> like, can I have shots? Like another round of shots at the brunch. She got cut off at brunch from drinking. Yep. And then we, <laughs> everyone else left, but Kate and Kristen really wanted to like walk around and just kind of enjoy Key West for like its wholesome vibes because now like the Swinger Fest had gone. But I was like, okay, this is a great opportunity to keep doing what we've been doing. So I had Fat Tuesday slushies, drank at brunch. We leave brunch, Kate, Chris, and I stay, and we go to Fat Tuesdays. I have a couple slushies there. And then um, we just keep wandering around the streets. Kate and Chris are just enjoying the music, getting souvenirs, and I am getting drunk. (laughs) So we get back to the car. Finally, we're like, all right. It's time to face reality. We have to go to back back to Miami at some point. And we get in the car and I'm tired. We were drinking. I immediately fall asleep. <laughs> I wake up. I'm in Kristen's Jeep. The top is off. I'm in a dark parking lot. I'm drenched in sweat. It is like 95 degrees outside. I'm looking around. I'm like, where am I? And then I look to the front seat and I'm like, Where's Kristen and Kate? I like have no idea where they are. Surprise, my phone is dead. And so I'm just sitting here like hoping they didn't get kidnapped or something. It's been like 25 minutes at this point. Weren't you like dying of heat exhaustion in the car too? No, I was actually dying. They did not leave the AC on. Kristen was like, we'll just crack the roof and everything will be okay. She'll be fine. I was literally a dog. Um... And they come back and I'm like, guys, where were you? They were like, oh my God, we just got the best dinner ever. (laughs) The sun was setting. We were at this outdoor restaurant by the beach. I am wet. (laughs) And is clawing onto the windows. (laughs) Let me out. (laughs) Um, But we finally made it back and that was the best shower I've ever taken in my life. So, Oh my God, that's so funny. (laughs) You could have died. No, yeah, fully. (laughs) Another fun fact about Key West is that they have these pirate ships that float around the streets and it's not like a little pirate ship. It's a full pirate ship. Like you do? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I missed it. We have to go back. <laughs> I need to see the pirate ship. And I think people like rent these big ships. They play music. Like it, I need to show a photo so you guys know what I'm talking about. It is like the size of an actual cruise just floating down the street <laughs> and like flagging it one year i'm like oh my god like let us on let us on and these guys let us on their pirate ship and i'm hanging on to the front of this pirate ship <laughs> like i am the girl from titanic like this i'm like oh yeah. my god naked this is the pirate ship what yeah you've never seen no these this happened it's literally not real life my first year there it was sophomore year and i was just jumping out of my boots to be there i'd heard stories i'd heard the rumors of what this weekend was like and it was just it was a bit of me the first night i was a butterfly so wholesome oh no (laughs) i had my pink sparkly bodysuit on i decided i was gonna get butterfly face tattoos so like the little wings all around my eyes i was like wow i ate (laughs) ate the cutest butterfly on the block and 
So we go out and I drank a little bit too much. And I decided, okay, it's it's time for Hannah to go home. I'm standing at the hot dog stand. I didn't voice any of these concerns either. I was just running them in my head. I'm like, okay, check, time to go home. And um, Brooke and I are buying hot dogs. My hot dog proceeds to fall onto Brooke's foot. And I'm like, that's my green light. I grab the hot dog, <laughs> scarf it, and start booking Wait, it. Wait, but your green light for what? To go home. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just like, this is my moment. This is my opportunity. I grab okay. it and go. I'm sprinting down the street. And Brooke's chasing after me like, Hannah, where are you going? Like, this is not like okay right now. And if you've ever worn doc martens you know that it is like having two Cinder school blocks yes two feet. school buses taped to your feet so i'm trying to book it down this street i'm like oh my god the crowd is cheering for me there's someone to my left going like oh my god she's usain no they were saying oh my god she's insane <laughs> like the butterfly has taken flight <laughs> yes she's off <laughs> she was soaring and there was no stopping her and then brooke and i uh, she's 10 feet behind me trying to follow me but um and right outside the hotel I just the steel toe on that Doc Martin gets trapped and I go splat the butterfly got squished <laughs> onto the pavement and I fly like I'm fucking going for home base and my face ate the fall so <laughs> so to preface this I had gone home we were staying at two different hotels this year and I wake up the next morning to my group chat going crazy, going crazy. All of a sudden, all I see, I'm infiltrated with photos of Hannah smashed in face, <laughs> scars, blood all over her body yep. with this butterfly. And at first I didn't realize the butterfly makeup was on your face. So I thought you literally had been ran over. <laughs> it like, looked so bad because all the tattoos now were mangled in with, <laughs> with scabs. This was not like a normal bruise. Like, oh my God, she hit her head. No, like this was... Wait, did you break your tooth during this too? No. no oh, no, not this time. <laughs> That was a different time. <laughs> but the next day, it actually worked out really, really well because the next night I was a firefighter. And <laughs> someone while we were out at the bar was like, oh my God, how did you get your face burns to look so real? I'm like, okay, this, this worked out. <laughs> you don't understand the severity of Hannah's face during this. Like, yeah. Oh my God, it was the most haunted picture I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Spooky. And like, if you guys are looking at it now for anyone listening, like you need to just, maybe if there's one thing you watch during this episode, it's just looking at these photos yeah. of Hannah's face because- They're honestly golden at this point. <laughs> at the time it was not golden. It's our most treasured photo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in Key West, they have this little like tattoo station right outside the bar. Very conveniently placed yeah. for all the drunkies <laughs> to go get their tattoos <laughs> and these tattoos they're not permanent but they're like semi-permanent so they're like mm -hmm. three month permanent tattoos and for some reason i don't know why but i decided to get a monkey on like my left butt cheek <laughs> and you know whatever i get the monkey as one does <laughs> i'm going about my day and like all of a sudden i had like smeared it like soon after getting it i don't remember how i smeared it but it was all over my arm all over my hand like everywhere and i was like oh like this is fine whatever but because it was semi-permanent i had this smeared monkey butt for like three months i went home for thanksgiving my mom was like what is it i had black all over my arm like all down my one thigh like i don't know what happened there but like the tattoo parlor right outside the bar always gets me. Like, that's always a big downfall for me. So I had monkey butt, um, which is what we call that for, <laughs> for a while. That's like a great name for it, though. Yeah. And also that night, I do you know that I went on someone's like yacht. You did? I don't know where I was wandering off and I wandered to a dock and <laughs> yep <laughs> just strolling around the dock looking at the boats and there's this one boat and I see like lights on in the kitchen and like the door was open and it was a yacht like you could see a full living room in there like there was like a mansion built on this boat and I was like okay like whatever. so they were calling your name <laughs> and they formally invited you <laughs> so I'm drunk with this smeared monkey ass I and like <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hop over the dock onto this boat like, like a monkey, like <laughs> a spider monkey <laughs> gripping on. <laughs> I get onto this boat 
first of all what like what's the joy of this alex <laughs> so these like nice fancy like rich people are probably having like a nice dinner on this boat and i'm crawling around it like this like going through the sides and i'm i'm peeking in the windows like, what's and going I, on I, here I, and i'm with this guy like i don't know why whatever and i saw oh, you they don't had, know why <laughs> Alex fell in love this weekend. I had a, um, a husband. We'll talk about that next. And I literally, like, all I wanted, I saw that they had, like, Lay's chips in the window. That might have been what called that me was in. definitely it. I look, and, like, the kitchen window, you could see from the outside of the boat, I saw, like, a bag of yellow Lay's chips. And I was like, <gasps> Alex hungry. Alex hungry now. And I'm crawling around the boat, and, like, all of a sudden I hear people like coming out of this room on the boat and obviously I can't be seen or I'm going to get like arrested, <laughs> which we'll get to in a minute. Oh. <laughs> I literally run. I sprint to like the top layer of the boat and I sat there with this guy for like two hours just stargazing on this random person's boat and like thinking about this now. I'm like, what? Like, was I doing like if someone had saw me like they probably would have like shot me or like called I was the gonna cops. say you definitely thought you were being so stealthy but you probably were you didn't get discovered <laughs> yeah so that was my one did you not one. talk to anyone on the boat no I just like that's honestly impressive I'm impressed so I was uh what do they call it froggers are those like the people that live in your house and you don't know they're there lodgers no <laughs> squatters. Squatters. squatters froggers <laughs> oh no it's called frogging frogging i think that's no, it's from a movie. squatting no it is definitely squatting no i think it's squatting and frogging well whatever i was squatting it's not frogging. i was squatting down in someone's boat and <laughs> you made a nice little home for yourself i did and then i left i just wanted the lace chips and then i would leave <laughs> but i think we need to describe to them this like costumes that people wear during this like these yeah. aren't like regular costumes like no. i was cinderella last year but i wore like a bra and underwear and i was like cinderella this goes back to freshman year actually because i think this was even different at our school like as a whole yeah like <laughs> alex and i went in <laughs> freshman year freshman year hannah and i had the sluttiest costumes that the freshman dorms had ever seen i think <laughs> like, we thought that it was just we talked to older girls and they were like yeah like everyone wears like their butt out and their boobs out and we were like okay and they did but just i think freshmen were like hesitant to do that and we were like no not we us weren't. no we, we went were full not. fledge and um <laughs> i won the halloween costume at the bar oh my god you did yeah that was good see where them booty cheeks get you <laughs> key west everyone's naked yes it's it's worse than it was freshman year but honestly it's kind of like a it's a cult, I would say. It's an understanding yeah. that everyone is like, just enjoying themselves there, in it's, as little as possible. As much as there is cameras there and everything, like it feels like you're not being like judged. Like you you don't feel mm -hmm. like you're in like the United States. Like you I feel like we went it's to like not a even different, real life. It's a parallel universe. Yeah, like, like I feel like I went to like dreamland and everyone yeah. there just like does not give a shit. Like you just walk the streets naked. Like you people are doing insane, disgusting things, like in the middle of the street and like no one blinks an eye it's yeah. like here except we go. the bouncers blink an eye oh my god the bouncers are very very strict there and scary if you bring a fake id to this place no doubt you are getting arrested yeah. like so this is another part of key west is that everyone gets arrested and the morning after going out it's like a game like everyone goes yep. to breakfast and you look around and you scroll through the local like jail cell and look at like <laughs> the local jail cell <laughs> you the key west police um like website and yeah. it's like page six yeah and you scroll and we literally are like oh that's our friend adam <laughs> that's our friend david like oh, look, look at them all on here all arrested yeah so if you go, you will get arrested probably. Like it's like the odds are good. <laughs> yeah. The odds are. You got to be on your best behavior. I'm pretty sure this girl we know like whopped one of the officers one time yep. in the street. She was, um, I think, trying trying to get her brother into one of the bars, and the bouncer started getting aggressive, and she said, "Nope, I'm I'm taking this into my own hands." Absolutely whopped him. One of our friends almost got arrested, and. I forget what she was doing. She was being definitely bad. And <laughs> the police goes on his like walkie talkie. It was. Oh, oh my God. God. Yes. And she sprinted away. And he goes on the walkie talkie. He's like girl with the long black extensions, two piece black <laughs> outfit. Like he called her out. He was like the bad arrest. weapons. He was like arrest now. Like whatever. Like 
detain her and <laughs> so like all of the cops have been notified and i rip off her wig <laughs> and i'm like you run as far as you can as fast as you can and i think her phone was dead but i was like just don't get arrested like we we don't have time for this right now yeah i found her like two hours later like five blocks down at like a biker bar she's like having the best time of her life she's completely fine she doesn't even know she's lost in key west there is probably like a handful of hotels and then there's also airbnbs that people stay at so it's a mix of both and like every hotel and every airbnb on the street is like you miami people like it is shut down like crazy town yeah and i think the worst part about this or actually this might be the best part but we always waited until really late to book and so the only places that the only places that were left were places that looked like army barracks like they were this thin and they were just bunk beds so every night you'd come home from being like distressed so tired and your friend was with a boy on the top bunk like yeah we literally (laughs) stayed in rooms that were like the size of this bed right now but there would be like five beds in there and like everyone's getting ready for halloween (laughs) on the floor and like the room over is like the frat guys the room over is like another room of girls like it was literally just like we shut down this town last year um my boob implant almost popped so we're at this bar and this was the first time that someone had ever come up to me asking for a picture because and we were so excited for you like this was crazy for us too we were yeah. like go out this was last <laughs> october and i had like a few hundred thousand followers and someone like came up to me and was like are you alex earl and i was like yeah and she's like can i have a photo with you and i was like floored i was like what the <laughs> fuck like call me fucking justin bieber what's going on like I was who like, is she oh, you want a photo with me i was like okay so i'm like going to take a photo with this girl and someone that we used to hang out with came up to me and was like can i take a photo with you <laughs> and punches me like full throttle so hard in the tit like <laughs> mike tyson that like, tit <laughs> i saw stars i was like hol- i i was holding my boob in my little kill bill costume and i was like <laughs> i think that my boob implant just popped like she killed bill <laughs> she killed my girl <laughs> and so yeah so it's okay because it's still there yeah it's, it's it survived and the friend didn't <laughs> <laughs> that was so good <laughs> also in key west i think we should describe to them like the bar scene of what it looks like because it really yeah. is just like one bl- two blocks of like straight bars and there's mm-hmm. like a few that are just like Iconic. popping off at all yeah. times fat tuesdays ricks oh my god oh like the fat tuesdays in there it is like you are a sausage in a <laughs> what are sausage in you're a sausage in a casing um no no you're, you're a sardine you're a sardine, you're a sardine. oh my god <laughs> you're like a sardine in this yep. bar it's so much fun and like the sides of the bar are like open it's just like a railing and like Mm -hmm. when people don't want to wait in line to get in because all the bars have like long lines Mm -hmm. people are like hopping the side and like the police is like like ripping you down like it's insane there's also a wall just of frozen spinning drinks and you're literally hypnotized by all these colors (laughs) yeah the sugary fat tuesdays (laughs) cups will put you out oh they'll do more than that and (laughs) (laughs) my god oh my gosh (laughs) I actually, I probably blame this on the big frozen Fat Tuesdays. 100%. Drinks. They were, there was something in no, them. No, but I'm talking about my own experience at Fat Tuesdays. <laughs> so I'm talking to this guy, and maybe, maybe my stomach was getting a little twisty because I was nervous it was talking the to this guy. It was the sugary tequila drink mixed with like the nerves of talking to a boy. And all of a sudden, I feel like, ooh. I'm like, wait, um, I feel a little wet between my butt cheeks. <laughs> it wasn't because of the guy. <laughs> a little shart had slipped out. <laughs> I didn't know if I just shit my pants. So I'm like, oh, God, I really have to go. I run to the bathroom and I sharted my pants in Fat Tuesdays. Keep in mind, we're in bikinis. Like yeah. you are a yeah. brave soul. I had like a like a white bikini oh no i think i had like a pink bikini bottom on at mm-hmm. this point and i was like holy shit like i just sharded my pants like whatever we continue on with the day <laughs> flash forward a few she did clean them everyone yes flash forward a few months after halloween 
uh yik yak the anonymous app where you can like write in things uh became popular at our school and everyone was kind of like roasting each other Mm -hmm. and someone said on yik yak alex earl sharded her pants (laughs) in fat tuesdays and i was so fucking mad keep in mind there's only a few people that like really knew that story people that knew that was like our big girl friend group yeah um group chat and like so there was a rat so someone was a fucking rat and someone told someone that i sharded my pants and they wrote it on yik yak you got outed i don't know and now you're outing yourself honestly (laughs) i don't know if i should put this in the episode probably not Um, but girls don't poop oh my god (laughs) girls don't poop they just shart ever Um, oh god and then the other bar rick's is a playground you could be in there for hours yeah. because it's downstairs there's, there's like 10 different locations yeah downstairs upstairs sideways like there's 45 different bars within this one bar which are my favorite types of bars mm-hmm. to go to yeah every single level you could see something else like up here i was actually i left all of my friends one night to just hang out with the swinger moms and just was dancing with them the entire night <laughs> they were the coolest people i've ever met um but then you go over there someone's in a screaming match with their girlfriend someone over here is literally asleep on the ground oh well someone was in a screaming match with their girlfriend and the girlfriend chucked something at my head do you remember this (laughs) um so this guy and this girl at my school they like had broken up and (laughs) the guy like really liked me always tried flirting with me but i was like not interested in him i was like Mm -hmm. friends with him whatever but the girlfriend or the ex-girlfriend got like very like mad about this and like grew a hatred for me she was territorial so (laughs) they were fighting in key west and this guy left his like phone and wallet at the bar so i'm like i probably should not have walked up in the middle of their fight but i'm (laughs) i'm 10 frozen fat tuesday drinks down and they're fighting and i go up to him and i'm like oh hey like you left your stuff at the bar and i hand him his wallet this girl takes the wallet and chucks it so fast at my head i was like bonk i was like oh <laughs> wait actually what is in the fat in the, in the fat tuesday's air what is in the key west air like actually I don't know something so, possesses everyone's soul that was my second time getting assaulted in key west so i was like i'm just gonna keep on going <laughs> i just walked away i was like i'm so sorry about that so the other amazing thing about rick's is that on one of their many levels, it's like the Barbie dream house for <laughs> drunk people. <laughs> it is the drunk girl's Barbie dream house. <laughs> is on the bottom level, they have a full concert venue for the number one rock band of all time. I've never Dirt seen Bags. I've never seen a band better. The <laughs> no. Dirt Bags. And I've never seen people go so feral for a band no. that they don't know anything about because this band doesn't have their own music they just play other like Mm -hmm. classic hits that everyone loves and like you lose your mind like i've (laughs) i've been to concerts i've been starstruck i don't like ever do this we have they have like a rope in front of the dirt bags i'm reaching (laughs) over them i'm like "Ah, please hold my hand like please like oh my god they're perfect and the one guy has little hair that like flaps in the wind like or his his beard flaps in the wind like this <laughs> like a little hello to the crowd <laughs> and oh my god it's the best thing ever you can like also venmo them for song requests mm-hmm. which is so fucking I think dangerous Kate has lost a thousand dollars to the dirtbag request <laughs> so have i because like they have such a long list of requests that basically like the venmo thing's just like a money grab yeah. and you're drunk and you're like oh they're gonna play my song <laughs> i venmo them like a hundred dollars probably not that much probably like 20 <laughs> probably like five <laughs> but i venmo them and like just in, in hopes that they would play my song and they never did i have a really mortifying story about the dirt bags though my it was junior year junior year we were there this night i was especially excited to see the dirt bags and i was a cowboys cheerleader and i decided to go extra ham this halloween so i had a 28 inch ponytail in my hair and because i was head banging to this band my my tiny thin actual ponytail was poking out the side of my extensions like hanging out and i really thought that this band was singing to me so i was trying <laughs> to clamber on the stage i was 
actually physically going over the rope and trying to hop myself they up get on you. the stage. They they wanted me up there, so I thought, um, no, they didn't. They called security on me. <laughs> And I got carried out of the bar by security. And there's the funniest photo. I think Kristen has it. And Aww. it's from the back. And all you see is my 28-inch ponytail. <laughs> my little real ponytail. And then just the security guard, like, manhandling me out of this concert. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, I just realized in my head that we went to QS three years. For some reason, I was thinking it was only two yeah no we Best went three years of my life i know we have to go back <laughs> oh, all of my episodes are about college <laughs> <I> <laughs> be like, girl get a fucking grip to be fair we have a lot of ground to cover yeah we in do in respects to actually like, telling stories about also happened. in respects of people like getting to know me and getting to know us like they yeah. need they need to know where we come from but- i was i know you said that in your last podcast and i was thinking about it and i was like you don't you've never actually told what going out with you is like or what we actually do as a friend group i think that this is important yeah it is we're definitely like very similar yes oh my god this was the other thing i was thinking in your last podcast when you were talking to ashton and you were like yeah i'm usually drawn to people who are like very calm and whatever alex and i are each other's enablers we are too similar in the fact that if we are ever alone together do something act (laughs) yeah we're like the two friends that like can't go out together because it's just never gonna end up good and that was a prime example of our freshman year because yeah we went out every night together monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so people had to intervene like Like, our friends were like you guys need to get apart from each other because we were literally like like all of a sudden it's a monday night i have an exam in the morning and then the next thing you know we're like in some rolls royce getting like <laughs> flown out all we had to do Miami. was just give like the are you going out yeah it would always, i'm like wait but are you going out and she's like well only if you're going out and i'm like okay well <laughs> well then so yes then. then i guess we're going <laughs> i think we're definitely both really fun i th- i would I would say, though, I think I'm a little bit more responsible. You are. <laughs> well, no, that's not even an I think. Okay, or, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> I just, I think there's something about going out where my brain leaves the chat. Also, your phone. Your phone yeah, always my dies. My phone, that's so, like, definitely she just, a liability like, issue. No one can contact Hannah. Like, yeah. she's just, like, out there I'm in the, the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very present in the moment. Now that we graduated... I feel like it's not frowned upon to go back. Like people go back to Key West, but I feel like one year it, out yeah, of, it is a little it's a little proud. weird. Like that would just be a little It's weird. a little washed up, but we'll definitely be back soon. Yeah. But this year we're going to New York. And Alex has like a huge party she's throwing on Saturday. Yeah, so all of our friends from Miami are all migrating down to New York for Halloween. And I'm hosting a party. I'm like what Uh, (laughs) i'm hosting a party sophie tucker's playing i'm so excited but i just think like we have to make it our own version of key west like we have to make manhattan key west somehow so we should run a pirate ship and go (laughs) through the streets of new york is what i'm hearing and i'm so excited and scared uh for what this year is going to be like but obviously taking you guys with me not i'm not leaving you guys out don't worry we're all experiencing this year's halloween together (sighs) i'm scared it's gonna be fun i think hopefully and now this year we get to wear like actual real costumes we get to wear clothes (laughs) like we're gonna put on like a cool outfit instead of just like a bra and undies so this should be a fun year we finally made it to new york city tonight we are going out to this club which i'm hosting a party i think that i have to like go up and say hi i'm gonna be in the dj booth and i'm gonna like say hi after i've had a few drinks so i don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth so that will be scary stay tuned for that but i'm in the city all my friends are here everyone from miami came to new york and then my friends from high school sally and isabella made it here tonight is gonna be a lot of fun my first costume tonight is madonna and i had this corset custom made i guess it's like a bodysuit that has like this cone bra look i don't even think i'm gonna be able to breathe in it and I'm wearing a wig. We are going full out, so I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous. I hope it turns out okay. We're all gonna go to the club together. Oh, it should be interesting. 
my friends are here now here they come they don't want to say hi right now hey. look at them <laughs> hey guys. oh my gosh so tonight's gonna be a long night and then we're gonna sit and recap you guys tomorrow with what happened i did Kristen's hair She's going to be sleeping beauty, so hopefully this turns out okay. She saw me struggling and was like, I got to step in. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween weekend, here we come. Okay, let's get ready. Madonna is here. bad last night i was big alling and i am embarrassed for anyone who saw me this is sally actually hey. I, you guys haven't met sally before oh, she's sally. my friend <laughs> <laughs> she's my friend from high school so sally and isabella right here i've been friends with them for eight years eight years that's crazy like that makes us sound old or is it more no it's eight is it nine now oh my god it's almost nine i think it's, it's yeah eight and because a half. ew well, first of all, no one knew what I was. Everyone was thinking that I was Marilyn Monroe or Miley Cyrus. Everyone on TikTok was like, this doesn't look like Madonna. I thought you were... I thought I ate whatever. She became Madonna. I became Madonna last night. I really embodied like a crazy bitch. I don't... I don't know I don't know if she's a crazy bitch. She's definitely a lovely lady, but I was crazy. <laughs> I got hoisted away by the security many times and I got yelled at many times. She like became not Alex. I don't know who she was. She was like performing. I was performing for everyone. Yeah, it was it was actually like I was witnessing a movie scene everything about it i was so happy and like i don't know like wigs like i don't know maybe i should cut my hair and dye it like that because i felt so free like flipping my head around with that like short hair i was just like no one can stop me yeah to like start it off we went to this club that i was hosting a party and we got there and they were like playing this madonna remix and had us go up on the stage so me, Sally, and Isabella went in the DJ booth. DJ booth. Every bad night starts and ends with the DJ booth. At this point, I hadn't had anything to drink. So it was like kind of awkward because I was like dancing. And this was my first sober time in the DJ booth. And then it's kind of scary because there's like way too many people looking at you. But we went upstairs. Literally, my family was there. Like my friends were there. It was a great time. But this is definitely where we went downhill first because when we first got to the table I took two shots in a row like multiple times because I was like playing catch up because it was 1 a.m and I hadn't had anything to drink yet so I just like took probably like six shots in the first like 20 minutes Alex was on the table she was getting picked up off the table we're having a great time and I became like a, a legitimate psychopath I don't know if it was like sleep deprivation or what but like i was dancing and like whipping my head around like i'm surprised the wig didn't fall off i was hanging over the railing at the club and i'm literally praying to god that this doesn't end up on my for you page and i don't see it somewhere but i was hanging over the railing like so dangerous and the security guard kept coming up to me and i was like let me live like oh my god uh. we were at this club for like way too long and then this girl texted me to come to this other party and I'm imagining like a club close by, whatever. We get in this Uber and we get in the car and he's like, this isn't your Uber. Like this isn't the right car. And I was like, that's fine. We just need to go to this address. Like I'll Venmo you. He said yes. And if you're listening, don't do this at home. So dumb. And there was also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. There was like 10 of us in this car, like sitting everywhere, all on top of each other's laps. And I thought like, it's okay. Cause we're just going to like go down the road. Like that'll be fine. 
we're in this car ride. Something possessed me to hang out of the window the entirety of the car ride. Like, I'm, like, having this biggest scaries right now because I'm, like, what if my head literally just, like, got decapitated? Like, I was hanging out, and I was also upside down in the Uber. Like, my head was in the girl's crotch that, like, I was sitting with. And, like, of course, this was, like, the one girl that, like, I actually, like, I'm, like, not that close with her. Like, I don't really know her that well. (laughs) And I, like, my head was in her crotch, and I think she was, like, freaking out and, like, getting very claustrophobic, and, like, I was twerking on her face she was in a headstand on this girl (laughs) i'm so sorry ella (laughs) and then whatever we're in the car for a while and brooke is in the front seat and she keeps being like hey alex like do you know like where we're going i'm like yeah like this address this address whatever all of a sudden she's like alex we're like leaving manhattan we're going to brooklyn and all of a sudden we're crossing this bridge and we're going to brooklyn And I remember the bridge because I was out the sunroof at this point now and my head was flapping in the wind like a dog. It was the happiest Madonna there ever was. And we go to Brooklyn. So now I'm like, whatever, this club's in Brooklyn, not a big deal. We pull up and we're outside like an apartment complex and there's like a big line outside. For some reason, I like bustled my way to the front and like, I don't know how they let us in the door, but we were like all squished, like clamoring to get in. So we get to this apartment. We're like going up to the floor that this party is on and we walk in and I'm freaking out because for some reason I have been to this apartment before and I was at this apartment for like a NBA draft party like a summer or two ago and I had like a very like weird cryptic night at this apartment and I was also there yeah and (laughs) i was there till the sun came up so then you know when you're drunk and you like repeat yourself a million times i how many times last night did i say like 500 (laughs) at least 500 in all the videos we're like like alex is just like we'll we'll just be talking and alex is just like guys but i've been here like i've been to this guys do you know i've been to this apartment that's why i know where the bathroom is upstairs (laughs) oh my god yes so they didn't want to let us go upstairs to the bathroom But mind you, in this Madonna costume, I was strapped up, belted up, Spanx, tights, like 10 layers. Like there was no going to the bathroom for Madonna. So I was like, fine, I don't need to pee. Like I'll hold it in for somehow I uh, my brain for some reason. I didn't actually end up having to pee the whole entire night, but when we got to this apartment, I was like, you know what? It's time for me to pee. Of course, it's like, Alex, like, everyone's going home in an hour. Like, just hold it in. No. So, we go to the bathroom. After fighting our way to get up there, the security was like, no. And I was like, I need to go. Being the smart person that I am, I was like, you know what? Because usually when you're wearing a bodysuit, you can, like, scoot it over to the side so you can, like, pee. But I had Spanx and tights on under this bodysuit. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to move the bodysuit over to the left of my vagina. (laughs) And I'm just going to pee through the Spanx and the tights. Like, that's fine with me. So I sat on the toilet. I peed. And I don't think I could, like, fully move the bottom part of the bodysuit over because, like, it was so tight. So I just peed through my Madonna costume in the toilet. (laughs) And... I guess I got my period because (laughs) not like a lot of blood, but a little bit of blood. So this is like where everything gets really dark. I'm walking around this party like I was like limp, like like crazy eyes, whatever. We're outside and Sally's taking a video of me. I'm standing here. I think she's taking a video because I'm like, I can't walk and I'm tripping. All of a sudden she's like, Alex, did you get your period? On the bottom of my costume is blood. And I, it's because I peed through the costume that the pee like soaked up everywhere and it took the blood and just, it just spread. So like the whole bottom part of the vagina of this costume was covered in blood and I was walking around with my blood on my costume. I I like would not be opposed to like going to the hospital okay should we get ivs i have a story about this too so when you get like an iv for your hangover i it's like 
supposed to hydrate you and make you feel good but they can miss your vein and when they do that your arm like blows up like oh, a is balloon. that what that's happened? what it is because i went to a meeting one day really hungover i was out till like 5 a.m i went to a meeting the next morning at like 9 a.m because girls gotta do both over here and i'm sitting in this meeting and it's like at this guy's house so he was like okay I have this, like, doctor who comes over. She's doing IVs today. Like, do you want one? And I was like, um, sure. Like, I'm pretty hungover. So she goes in my arm. All of a sudden, I'm like, ow. Like, this kind of hurts. Like, this usually doesn't hurt. I look over. My arm is filled with blood the size of, like, oh my God. a fucking balloon. And I was like, all of a sudden, I feel myself starting to get, like, sweaty. The blood's rushing from my head. I was like, I'm going to pass out. So... I we I'm like I have to go to the bathroom like I don't feel good the story gets even worse so I wheel myself to the bathroom with this IV thing it's hanging in my arm I'm in the like same room but just like in the bathroom so there's just like a door dividing me between like the guy I'm having a meeting with and like me and I'm puking and like he can obviously hear me like <laughs> because he's right next door and I like come out wheeling my thing and he's like are you okay I was like yeah I'm good <laughs> and then he facetimes kim kardashian and i'm sitting here on the verge of passing out on facetime with kim kardashian and i'm like what the fuck is going on right now and then i didn't like <laughs> say bad. anything to her because i was like whatever and he was like you were so shy and awkward i was like little did you know i was just about to die so it's sunday today and tuesday is actual halloween the 31st and heidi klum is having a party well, she has a party every year, and last year she was like that weird caterpillar worm. Worm. Like a rain a worm. forest worm. I'm somehow like invited to the party, so we're going, and this costume on Tuesday is definitely like my favorite costume for this year's Halloween. Heidi Klum's party goes until 4 a.m. or something, and I want to leave the next morning to go back to Miami, so I booked us flights for 7 a.m., so I'm going to have to go right from the party to Miami. In that glam? Yeah, I You're going to be in the costume. For Heidi Klum's, I'm being this white witch from Narnia. It's going to be so good. But like we have this big custom made gown. I'm gluing like these icicles to my head. It's actually funny how I came up with my Narnia costume because I like would never have thunk whoa uh, <laughs> i would have never thought to be someone from narnia but i was telling nfl man i was like sometimes you kind of remind me of that like goat man from <laughs> narnia and he's like what are you talking about and i was like i don't know sometimes you just like resemble him even though he doesn't i was just like wait for some reason like you're just giving that goat man right now so i looked up like narnia characters and then i saw the white witch and i was like wait she's cool so that's how I came up with this costume, and yeah, it's fun. Um, but I kind of miss like being really like naked and slutty on Halloween. I think like we need to incorporate that a little bit more next year. Like I was putting on my costume last night, and it was just like some of my booty cheeks were out, but I was wearing tights. And the tailor was like, "Ooh, like scandalous! Like look at the butt out." And I was like, "This is actually the most covered I've ever been on Halloween," and I'm like very depressed about it. Like. Usually I'm like uh, in a thong, no tights. All right, well, now I have to recover. I have some stuff to do for work tomorrow. And then we are going to Heidi Klum's Halloween bash. And I'm going to transform into Ice Queen. Let's see if I can pull it off. Uh <laughs> Okay, we're on the way to go to Heidi Klum's party. I am Jadis the White Witch from Narnia. I'm running late, so I have to go. I have a wire stabbing me in my head, and I, again, can't pee in this costume. So wish me luck tonight. Bye. Ooh.